We've all done it. Seen a disabled parking space and thought, I could just nip in there for a few minutes, nobody will mind. Not this time, lady. It's time for swag style justice. some real traffic wardens what's going on, but they're just as bemused as she is. They send her into the council office and we return with a swagger. One, Naughty Parker, nil. The Overreaction Squad. This bunch of melodramatic mercenaries are primed and ready to overreact to even the slightest whiff of bad behaviour. This week, protecting a £10 note left on a path. crime area. A highly conspicuous escort with the keys left in it. It's a sitting duck for would-be thieves, but this little baby's been customised swag style. Time to sit and wait. Ow. Here come a couple of likely lads. Time to lock them in and start the music. Nice work, boys. OK, it's time to send part one to the slammer. But join us again in a few moments and we'll be showcasing another bunch of Muppets on the make. But before that, here's a quick peek at some of the crimes against common sense we'll be clocking in part two. See you after the break. Still to come, Tony Blackburn turns shoplifter. Have you paid for this? No, I don't do that. We send one dodgy chance around the bend, then past the lights and up the street in a caged lorry. And we'll return to Luke's illegal wedding parade to see if he'll go for the scrumptious Nadia or the unsightly Gudrun. Welcome back to Swag. We're halfway through our first stretch and it's time now to see some more pros serving up justice to all those cons. Coming up, we catch up with our man Luke in what could be the wedding of the year. One dodgy mug stuck in a truck and Tony Blackburn gets a criminal record and we're not talking vinyl pop pickers. One bottle of tequila left enticingly on the street with a big surprise lurking behind those boxes for any would-be scally tequila stealers, like this chancer. 
Let's have a look at that again, shall we? And even though he's confronted by a human lemon and a mariachi band, it doesn't stop this likely lad going for the bottle. That's the most work you'll ever have to do to get a drink, mate. Next up, celebrity crime. We give you top junglist DJ The Smashing and night Mr. Tony Blackwell. <laughs> Can the rich and famous get away with breaking the law in broad daylight? Well, Tony is about to find out by trying to steal himself a little picnic at the local shop where the shop assistants have no idea what's about to happen. Tony's even got his own little hamper. Bless. We was confused. What is he doing? Why is he doing? Our man in the shop's had enough. Did you pay for this? No. No, I just, um, just having something to eat. I felt a bit hungry. Try the donuts, they're quite good. They look nice. Yeah, I'll try these. Excuse me. Sure. That's all right. Have one of those, right? We are Lovely. just laughing. He's a funny mm. man, but I don't know. Was he's mad, something like this. Have you paid for this? No, I don't do that. You don't pay? Never do. Oh, no and with that, the right, cheeky better. basket is off. I don't pay for anything. No, no, I'm sorry. The perfect celebrity crime. Good uh -oh. work, fingers. 